hey guys it's daps here welcome to my youtube channel i'm super excited to share another video with you as usual and in this video i want to show you this awesome website i designed using hostinger ai builder just right on my screen here you can see this super beautiful website i'm super amazed i could design something this cool and sleek with hostinger ai builder in all honesty i just saw the option for the hostinger ai builder i just felt i should just give it a try and i'm super blown away i'm amazed about the results i'm getting i need to let you know uh even before i start this tutorial that this literally blew my mind away and i'm still in between trying to see how i can host serious website using this ai builder it's quite amazing amazing things you can do with this ai so right on my screen here you can see i just tried to design something uh very uh expressive on my home page by the way i use their free logo builder to design this amazing Cool, sleek logo you can see on the home page here and uh you can see quite an amazing beautiful website here very very beautiful and also i use the ai to generate some content like you can see content here our, our bespoke website designed to be responsive and all these things i use the ai to generate this content so you can literally use the ai to generate both the content and pictures and also the design of your website this is amazing in all honesty and the next thing here is for us to see the about page and you can see something this sleek and beautiful quite an amazing beautiful website and also i can come to several projects that i have on this website uh, these are random content by the way these are just demo content i will show you literally how i designed this and that's not even everything uh, quite a number of pages here from press to a contact and you can see the speed you can see the responsiveness this thing load way faster and i'm beginning to wonder wow i think i like this i like the speed i like how it's very very responsive i also integrated a blog and sincerely i love the outlay of this blog so if i come down here i just did a test blog here so you can see the title and i have a little description below here and i have a category and this is the apps and this is the date i published this article and it is just a one minute read i didn't put all this information there i just uh use ai to generate this content and all these things are popping up so you can see content here another thing again i was able to do with this ai with this website is that i was able to integrate a store on this website so if i come to store here i literally designed this store with just a click of a button that's mind-blowing sincerely and I just love the simplicity of it these days. Anyone who has been following me or anybody who has worked with me will know that when I'm trying to design a website right now for my client, I just love to make it simple. The best website out there are the most simplest website. It's just clean, it's simple, and it's decent. What more do you want in a website? What more do you want in the store? Literally, so I can click on this, for example, and you can just see this is just beautiful. I can add this to my bag, and then I have this here. I could easily just hit the checkout button or i could even literally just view the product to read more about the product but that's just me going directly to checkout and this is just a checkout and this is the not too good thing i really didn't like about the checkout i i didn't like the fact that the checkout page has to be checkout.hostinger.com so anybody using this website literally knows that i am hosting this website on hostinger but that's that's what it is to it. This is the not too good part that I really didn't feel comfortable with. Uh, but again, some folks will never pay attention to this to know that the URL for the checkout is actually checkout.hostinger.com. Uh, while I was setting this up, I didn't put any fee for shipping, so that's why it's free. So you can literally add some shipping fee to your store. So you also have the option to create coupon code so that you can give some people discount at checkout. So that's another plus and that's quite fantastic. Uh, so let's try to hit the checkout button here. So now I will have to put necessary details here, like my email, I can just put a random email, I can put a random name, uh, my country is okay, I can put a random address, uh, my city, I can put a random city, and I can just put a random photo as well. Uh, when i do that i can just hit the continue button and you see that the only uh, payment gateway i have here is paypal but you have the option to either use paypal or to use stripe and i can literally just check out here what i love about this website is how super simple and clean it is i love the speed 
uh, the website is responding quite very very fast i love the fact that you can do quite everything together in one platform and that's not even everything if you come down here to the builder i love the fact that i can customize this website based on my device if i'm using the mobile device or i'm using the desktop device i also like the fact that i can check this website analytics so if i come down here i can see the website starts who has visited this website when they are visited i also like also the fact that you can uh, subtitle this website into different languages and that's quite fantastic so if i even come to the website settings here the amazing thing here is that i can manage the general setting i can integrate this with several other platforms so you can see i can manage this website with google analytics with Oja, with facebook pixels with messenger live chat with google tag manager with whatsapp with google adsense and google ad mob and i can also manage the seo of this website i can optimize this website for search engines and that's quite fantastic so you can see i can set my meta description i can do quite a number of things without necessarily paying for any premium plugin like i would if i were to be using a wordpress website final thing here that really blew my mind is that i can export this website to wordpress now you may not be able to export some dynamic content but some static content like the design of the website can literally be exported to wordpress and that in my opinion is fantastic so without further ado i want to show you in this tutorial how i designed this website and how you also can replicate the same how you can set up your hosting guy and then you can set up the ai builder to design something this beautiful so what exactly are we waiting for let's get straight into the tutorials immediately I want to make this tutorial as beginner friendly as possible so i'll be starting with trying to set up an hostinger account with you if you have an hostinger account you may want to skip this part that should take you to the description of this video to check out the timestamp for that you can navigate where appropriately without wasting so much time in case you need to set up an hostinger account you can check this video description to see a link to come to hostinger here where you have access to get 75 percent off with my link you'll be qualified to do that also down my link you will see my coupon code called dabs which will give you further slash down so if you get to the website here what you want to do without wasting so much time is to hit this claim deal button and that will bring you here where you can choose the best web hosting plan for you in my opinion the best really is for you to use the premium that's enough for you because you'll be able to host as much site as possible and if you add this to cart this will bring you to the page here where you need to complete your order and if you scroll down here you would see that you have the option to host a 48 months plan for as low as 2.99 and this will give you an extra an extra three months for free come down here you will realize that what you'll be paying for a 48 months plan for three months extra is a 143.52 dollars 52 cent that is literally 75 percent off you should ideally be paying $432. But again, like I told you, if you come down here and click I have a coupon code and use my coupon code DAPS, you will get a further slash down. So let's wait to see that. So you get a further slash down to $129.17. So coming back up here, you can see that you now have the ability for you to host your website for 2.69 per month, and that's quite amazing. In my opinion, I would advise people to go for the 48 months plan because you would be able to renew at 6.99. If you go for the 24 months plan, you will renew at 7.99, 8.99, and a flat fee here at 11.99. So that's literally up to you to choose whatever is convenient for you. So if you come down here, you can put your email account, you can choose your preferred payment gateway and then you can check out so after completely your secure checkout it will bring you to an option here where you need to start now I just need to set some things up so i can just hit the start now button so here you will have the option to either create a new website or for you to migrate your website but for the sake of this tutorial we are trying to create a new website so this is where you have to choose between wordpress or you want to use hostinger builder with ai and for the first time in my tutorial we are leaving wordpress in hostinger and let's check out the hostinger builder with ai here if you just sign up for your account you will have the option to claim a free domain 
you can buy a domain if you want to but it's crazy for you to buy a domain when you can use a free domain but another option you can do here is for you to claim an existing domain which literally makes sense to me that is if you have a domain name already and you're not ready to use your free domain name so for the sake of this tutorial uh let's just claim a free domain name tabs dev and i can just do dot com so i'll literally be using this domain name now for my tutorial purpose so let's search if this domain name is available this no domain name is already taken who could have taken dabs dev that's crazy okay i can just register dabsbrook.com right so let me search all right domain name is available that used to be my old domain name so let me register it again and then once uh we are done here we can just hit the continue button and then use existing profile definitely i want to do that so i will finish registration as you can see this domain name is being registered and then there is a redirection now to website builder and that's quite beautiful so let's watch this welcome to ai website builder let's create your site in one minute so you can just easily just use start creating what i love to do with their ai is for me to use their pre-made template that way you can easily pick the kind of website that appeal to you instead of trusting that into the hands of their ai so i will just come down here and click use pre-made templates so if you come down here you would see that they have lots of pre-made templates and this was the template i chose earlier and there's quite a number of them here you can just keep scrolling down and you can filter this by the templates here from e-commerce to restaurant to services to health and beauty to marketing to entertainment to events to portfolio to photography to fashion and that's quite amazing so uh let me just come to technology and let's see the template they have around technology so you can see this this is beautiful so if you over around each of the templates here you can easily preview them before you start building so let's preview this let's look at what this look like so you can see uh this is beautiful i just love how simple this is you can literally pick this up and redesign this into something quite amazing so you can see it has a shop page and you can see how super simple shop is and also the about page so let's come back here let's come to health and beauty niche and let's see what they have in that space uh, so you can see we have quite a number of options here too as well so this is fantastic so i think this is popping up let's preview this all right this is another amazing simple yet classy website so i think i like this website as a template for me to use uh, so what i can do right now is for me to start building by clicking this button here and then we can start welcome to your website complete setup uh steps in 24 hours and get discount for web hosting plan so that's literally up to you if you want to consider finishing all your steps so that you can get a 10 percent discount on your next hosting plan if you want to buy uh, through them they will give you a coupon code that's literally up to you and these are the steps here start your website journey edit the editing text update image edit paragraph text update your logo update social media icons and then check your site mobile view so once you are able to do all of these things here and then you can go live within 24 hours they will give you a 10 percent coupon code that you can use on your next purchase uh, from them uh, so that's it uh, i can close this up so that's just a little hard there <laughs> okay so you can see we have this here now and this is super amazing so now let's see what we can do let's see how we can easily customize this website into whatever we want and give it the feel uh, let's start first with the editing so if you click this uh you can see that you have the option here to edit your navigation which is your menu or change your logo uh, the first thing we want to do might be for us to change our logo and you can see we have an, a logo here you can increase the width so you can see the width is increasing you can reduce it uh, menu item spacing you can give some spacing in between your menu and your logo position you can change that from left to the center to the right so you can play around that to see how how that would fit your website so you can see 
the logo is now here i think uh, the logo uh, width is now too small we can increase that a little so you can see you can bring it to the middle you can take that to the far right uh, so you can see the logo is now here so we can just keep it at the left that it was initially i think it's cool there and that's it for logo you still have quite a number of options here like i told you i designed the logo initially with the uh, uh, free logo builder so we'll see exactly how we can design a new logo and change that so we can come down to the general layout we can make this uh header sticky which has been ticked by default in case you don't like sticky headers you may want to just deactivate this uh, our menu position we can change that that is already by our left we can bring that to the center here or take it to the far right so a, quite a number of optimization you can do uh, let me just return it to where it is and we can also play with our menu item spacing and also padding at the top and also at the bottom so we can just make uh, give more padding but i think this is just beautiful enough so after that we can come to our shopping bag do you want to enable shopping bag you can say yes that's if you know that you want to maybe add a shop to this page which we will do eventually so you can say we have a shopping bag here right now so this is small you can make it medium you can make it large depending on what you want really but i think something small is enough so you can also add an icon to your text in case you want to do that but let me turn this off right now we'll come back to our shop eventually later so we can still come to styles we can have an header background we can have a transparent background which is turned on which is good and uh, we can have a different color for our header background all together and we can edit the, the text styles and do quite a number of things and that's quite very beautiful uh, for us to have this level of customization for our header so if you come down here to ai tools if you click this you will see that you have the option for a logo maker an ai writer and ai heat map so let's work with our logo maker right now and this will launch a new platform where we can easily create a free logo so you can see because i'm logged into the same account this uh, was what i did initially and this was the template that i picked for my website and i really did some editing and some adjusting to that so we can just uh come here we can just describe logo and i can just say daps brook i can also eat these settings from here i can play with some things here my icon style this is unicolor i can make it multicolor i'm okay to play with several colors and the name should be daps brook and not daps digital i can do a random slogan and just say uh, live is designed to defeat the weak uh, which should be ak and that's my favorite quote anyway so in case you don't know life is uh this is us life is designed to defeat the weak and then my industry right now definitely isn't and isn't web design anymore so i can just say I can say my industry is motivation and that's good so let's just hit the create button and then let's see what this ai can come up with okay so i have a few results here i'm not sure i am okay with these results what i can still do is to tell the ai to create more and let's see let's have more options okay so i have another option again here and i think i have something i can just play around with so let me go with this and let's check this out uh you can see taps brook life is designed to defeat the weak and here i can change things i can change the text i can change the slogan and then i can change the layout as well so that's quite beautiful so i can choose this so you can see this might just appeal to you uh, this might appeal to you as well but i think this is not really too good uh, so this was what we have by default and then this again doesn't really make sense so i'd rather be choosing between these or this uh, but i think it will make sense to stick with this will have this will increase the height of our header but i think i'll just stick with this and then you can scale your icon so you can increase the icon so you can see and you can reduce it you can scale it to just fit and that's it so you can change uh, the front family from poppins to whatever front you are okay with 
and you can also change this icon to really you can play around with icon you can draw your own icon and you can allow this ai draw another icon for you you can come down here and just type in random things whatever you are into you can just put that here and let this ai uh, design something for you based on that keyword i don't want to spend time doing that but that is a possibility is something you can do but i think i'm just okay with this for tutorial purpose and then i would again we can change the colors here in case your colors are not black uh, let me even come to the website here let me see what colors uh we are using here so you see we don't really have something black here so i might want to just change this color from black to something lighter maybe something around this and then for the text here i can work with something way lighter maybe something like this and uh, that's it and then i can just download this logo and you can see our logo files here has been downloaded and this is complete i can just open this up so that we can extract this file all right so i have been able to extract this and then i have my logo file here which is good enough so i can just leave this i can also close this and then i am done with my logo you can play around with as much logo as you want to and then pick what is best for you and the amazing thing here is that you can literally create this yourself in case you want to design something so you have the option here for you to create something for yourself from scratch so there is no limit to what you can do with this platform and that's exactly why i like it and i'm rooting for it so let's come back here and uh, let's just change this logo entirely let's replace this image and then this is our library let's upload our files and then i have my logo file here so i'm going to select this and then i'm going to open this up and this is uploading to our library already so you see we have our logo here and then that's everything i need to do i just need to eat this to select this logo and you can see two steps have been completed here uh, we can close this uh, but this logo is a little bit smaller so let's change this uh, uh, logo width let's increase this and this is good so let's close this right now and that's it uh we've been able to customize our header what we can do right now is for us to customize our, our page so if you come down here if you so you can see that you can literally change every text here so by just clicking on them over and around and one thing i like about this uh builder is that once you click on this you can literally drag this anywhere at all you can drag it to the left to the right you can just move it up anywhere you want on the page and it's as simple as that trying to customize things moving things around if you want to change this image here you may need to change the background altogether so if you click this uh, you can just come to change the background so you can see the picture is here and then we can literally just replace this image uh, so you may want to work on your image or whatever image you want to use and then upload that here uh, so that's it you may even want to switch the colors and not even use image at all so that's literally up to you how you want to do that but that's um not a go-to for me so i'll leave this with image and then i'll close this up so i can keep editing this but i don't want to waste so much time but you know how these things are so if i click this right now about the button I can literally drag this button anywhere anywhere at all on the page here uh, i can just leave this somewhere here and i for the button now if i click it i can edit the button as well and i can change it about me i can just literally just say uh, learn more and then i can choose where i want to link this to and uh, this is already linked to the about page which makes sense you may want to open this up in a new tab that's literally up to you and uh, you may also want to style this you may want to the fill color is the same as the background you may want to change that and this is the text color you may also want to change that so let's say i want to change the color to yellow so you can say i have yellow here but that's not popping i'll just change this to something dark so that's that's very simple to customize really uh, so the same thing here so if you're here what you can do is that you can edit things if you click this here you will see that you have the option to edit this text you can also use the ai assistant but first off let's use the edit text so you can come down here you can literally just delete this and type whatever you want to type uh, here as human therapy humanistic therapy 
you may want to change this to motivation for example i can just type in motivation so you can see uh, that's super simple how you can edit things you can also change the font to whatever font you want make a bold underline and do quite so many things here and that's quite very very beautiful so if you come down here to this arrow here if you click this here you should be able to also adjust the line height the background color and also set an animation for this text and that's it uh you may also want to maybe increase the space here you may want to just drag this up and down to just give this some spacing in between this is literally very simple to do so you can see editing this text here i've been able to complete four over nine and if you come down here you can still do you can duplicate this you can hide or show this so i can just say i want to hide this on mobile or on desktop i can literally just delete this entire uh section completely away and i can eat this here for more options for me to bring it forward send it backward for me to duplicate copy or cut this and literally very very simple to do so i don't want to waste so much time time to edit or customize this page but if you come down here you can literally use ai to generate things you can just say i want this ai to write about self-love for a child and then i can eat generate text and you can see that ai is writing and this is how very simple you can use ai to generate literally text for this content and that's beautiful so this ai is still writing let's give this ai time for it to write stuff about self-love for children so you can see this ai has literally written quite uh <laughs> longer than we even want uh, it to write self-love is essential aspect of a child's growth and development so you can literally just uh cut out the long text and pick the ones you want to pick in case you want this longer uh, you can also still work with that so i will just cut this um okay i think the first thing here is to delete this one first which was what we have there initially all right so i can then uh let's just say i want to cut this to this place here and then i can hit the ctrl x and then i've been able to cut that part out so you can see how you can use ai here to generate content for your website as a matter of fact you will have surplus of content to work around and the the thing is the more information you give to this ai the more this ai is able to generate content for you but literally know that you want to be very careful using this ai so if you click this here you'll see it is written here that this ai assistant as a daily usage limit if you want to know more about that you can click that to know uh what that limit is i've not even gone to check because i've not been able to i've not used this uh more than the daily usage uh the daily limit so these are things that are possible that you can do with this ai and that's why i love this designing a website has never been this easier this is what other page builder like Elementor will begin to charge us heavily for and you can use this tool to get this done literally for free. Quite amazing for me. You have everything you need for you to design your website. So you can literally change things here. If I click this image here, you can say I can change this image. I can do quite a number of things. I can, let's just try to replace this image. Let's use this for example and let's select this image. So you can see our image has been changed now i've completed five out of nine that's brook is not active so the reason why i must have had that must be because of this email here i got an e and i got an email here for me to verify my email address and that is quite very important for this domain registration to be complete so let me click that here and confirm verification email so i just need to verify my email and then that's literally done and that might be the reason why we get a prompt that our domain is not active yet so that has been confirmed uh, so we can just literally go on and on and on to edit things here and we can come down here to this uh plus button here to add new elements so we can play with galleries we can play with videos shape map instagram feed you can embed the code and that's literally everything we can do more to add more to this website 
So let's say we want to add a video, so I can just literally just drag that. And then you can see I have a video here. So I can literally drag this video anywhere that I want to add this video on our website. It's just as simple as that. So this is very intuitive, very easy to use. I'm not sure anybody will have any problem trying to do this, but this might still be limiting in some way because we have more options with WordPress. But again, if you want to design a very simple, basic website like this, this is literally enough. You will not have to worry about plugins, installing plugins, updating plugins, doing quite all those heavy stuff that we do with WordPress. So this is a very good option for people that want to have super simple, basic websites like this. Uh, so let's continue with this tutorial. We can have come to our pages and navigation. So you can see uh, this would help with our menu, our home page, about page. You can hit the settings here. You can you can rename this. You can do SEO. You can duplicate your home page. You can add another new page in case you want to add another page to your navigation and your pages. So the next thing we have here is our website styles here. And I like this. We can play with colors for our website. This will be global colors here. You can play with all these colors. You can play with your text. Uh, you can change the general uh, font of the website. You can also change your button styles, your primary button, your secondary uh, button, and also animations as well as you want to want on this website. So that's quite very easy to do. You can also come to blog here. Uh, you can add a new blog to your website in case you want to have that. So you can see we don't even have a menu for blog here. We can just literally add a new blog post and then we can set the title of the blog here. You can put description here. You can add an image and then you can post content. You can also use the AI to generate content for your blog. If you click this, you can just come down here to change post title. So you can put your post title here. You can put your description here. Uh, your post URL, you can add an SEO URL. You can post your author. You can just put dabs as the author or whatever you want to post. And then you can put your post date. Uh, and also you can schedule this post to deliver at a later date so once you're done you can hit the save changes button i don't want to waste so much time trying to do that you can add an image here change this image to whatever image you're comfortable with as usual uh, you can add an alt text to your image here for search engines and that's quite very very beautiful you can add some style to your image maybe do some uh, corner radius so as you can see that that's optimizing you can also have some action once somebody click on this image what do you want open in preview uh, open this image in full screen preview you can open this image in new link and just do nothing and you can also put some animation to this image and that's quite amazing you can add some text for your content you can use this to generate content you can use ChatGPT and use other ai generate content for your blog post that's literally up to you but this AI here is quite limiting because this AI here is not designed for you to generate blog content. It generates content in paragraphs. So you may not be able to generate a long blog post. That's literally up to you to choose what you want. So also we can uh, update our footer option here to also carry the same logo. So I can change this image here. I can replace this image here and use this uh select this but you see that this image here will not pop here because of the color here so we can literally come back to our logo uh we can uh come back to our described logo edit this and then create a light version of our logo so we can come down here click this and change the color from dark i can just literally make this uh transparent if i want to uh, i can just change it to a random color here maybe something more like this and then i can increase this and then okay i can play with random colors uh, so this should be able to pop at the dark background so i want to change the text i want to make it something lighter as well okay maybe something like this uh, for the logo as well we can choose to change that color but i will just leave that for 
test purpose then i can download this now i can then now use this i can rename this as as uh, uh, the footer logo and then i can upload this now to our footer here so that we can have a light version of that logo uh, we can edit our home office here and also edit our contact here so that our logo is set we can change the background of our logo you can add an image you can change the color or i can just literally just I change the color to something entirely different maybe find a random color somewhere here and that's it for our colors that's it for editing this and then i can come down to the next thing here which is for us to add a store to this so literally i can just come down to manage store yeah i can give my store a name i can just say dab store and then i can continue and then i can select my country you need to be very careful of the country you select for your store because this country here will influence whatever payment gateway is available for you in case for example now i'm in nigeria here now and nigeria doesn't support uh paypal or stripe so i won't have that option if i were to select nigeria right now so what i will just generally do if i know that i can use paypal and i can set up stripe i might have just gotten somebody outside of the country to set that up for me uh, you may just want to select that country and just possibly just do the united states uh, so that will give you an option uh, then you can then uh, select the usd has been selected here by default you can find uh, your currency we are going to leave the usd as default here i can then hit the continue button now i have the option for me now to set up product add online payment and review my company information so i can just literally come to product here so what kind of product do you want to sell uh maybe digital product physical product i can just say a digital product and then i can literally start adding a product to this store but what i did initially at the other time was for me to add demo content i don't even know where i found that demo content so we already have default template here so you can just uh literally edit this uh, you can edit this duplicate this or even delete this so you can literally add your own products so for your product here as well you can see that you can come to categories you can create categories for your products and here you can see orders you can see your appointment you can also set discount for your product and that's quite fantastic it's a, a amazing things you can do for your store so you can come to your store uh settings here you can set up your store details your currency like we worked on initially your company information and then what we need to do here is to set our payment another thing we can also work out here is shipping in case uh you are limited by shipping you want to ship to maybe specific countries that's if you're selling physical products uh, you also can set up emails i think we should do this one after the other let's come down to payment now you can see now that we have option here for paypal and option here for stripe because of uh, the country we have set and also uh, we can also set a manual payment in case you are doing payment upon delivery so manual payment would work for you so for you to connect your paypal you just want you need to hit the connect button here and you can literally log in into your paypal and connect your paypal with your store so you can see what i just literally need to do to connect my paypal here a security challenge i need to just uh this is for security so they say i can verify this i hope that's correct it will bring me here for me to sign in into my paypal so i can just do so you can see thanks for signing up and that's literally everything we need to do i just signed in into my paypal and then go back to Ostinga international limited okay so uh that's it for setting up our payment but you can see here it's still saying setup not finished i noticed i had this similar issue the last time i was trying to use it i really don't know what was going on but i left it and after a while i did the same process again by managing and then i try to eat the finish setup and then i can see that my account has been linked i don't know if i had to do it twice was the reason why it worked or maybe it took time for it to just process i don't know what's going on here but eventually it worked 
so uh, that's it i don't want to waste time trying to go over with this but you can just experiment with this i believe this would work if you try it once or twice and that's it for our payment uh, for shipping here you can click this and then you can regular united states since we say we are in the united states and this is 57 states so i can do rates uh, if i want to charge for fees i can uh begin to maybe add more countries and then since this is free i can just do action here i can edit this and then say i'm charging a for regular i'm charging uh, maybe 20 dollars for shipping i can also add a condition for that so you can set a condition here for size or for weight you can say if the weight of your product is this you're going to pay this amount for fees if the weight is this you can so you can set those conditions and that's quite fantastic so i will just close this up uh, there's quite a number of things we can do here if i want to go over this i might be doing three hours in this tutorial and in all honesty i don't have time to record that long video and try to edit before trying to upload it uh but these things are very very easy and self-explanatory i'm not sure you have problems trying to do that also for your checkout page you can customize this you can include your terms and also your privacy you may have created a page for that earlier i showed you how to create a page and also custom options require phone number checkout you may also want to add a custom field in checkout for people and your checkout language whatever language suits your style so that's it uh, for our checkout also for emails what if you want to see what the email will look like and then you can customize it and also for your appointment for your invoices uh, just fantastic things that you can do here to customize things for yourself you can set taxes uh, you can also uh, customize your invoice how you want your invoice to show this is the default invoice that you would receive uh, you can add your logo to invoice add additional information and do quite a number of things and i think this is quite amazing in all honesty so i can come back to my dashboard so i can you can see you saying you set the payment provider here so by showing there that we've not confirmed that you may want to add the product if you want to and you can review your company information your company name your company logo you may want to add your address your state your your zip code your city and all this stuff for your store and once you're done you can hit the save changes button so that's it uh that's everything we can do here i believe all these things here are self-explanatory and once you are done you can just come to your back uh to your editor so literally we are done with our store and now we can come back to our menu here we can uh, come to edit shopping and then i can say yes i can enable this uh, to have that there so there are quite a number of things we can still do here we can come to analytics analytics is empty we can come to seo we can just add some basic information what is your brand name then i can go to the next step and my language is english and i can go to the next step my page description i can it says that this can be more descriptive i know actually i just wrote dragons here literally uh so you can see if you have done well this will tell you this ai will tell you you have written a good description but i know this is not good but i'll leave that just for tutorial purpose so we'll go to the next one so you can literally just choose three keywords here for your website which i've just done right now and just go to the next so you can see it's been able to generate uh an seo title for us and a meta description and that's the beauty of ai this is what this tool can do so this is what your website will look like in search engines so if you are okay with this that's fine if you are not okay you can just uh, write something quite very better but for tutorial purpose i will leave that as is so you can just literally keep playing around till you get things done here but i think we should even check what our website looks like first and then we can come back here to finish up settings so 
for you to be able to publish your website you can just come up here you can actually do a preview first to see what your website will look before going live but i don't want to waste time doing preview so let's just go live and uh, let's hit this and you can see our website is publishing congratulations our website is ready so you can see view your website here so if i click this uh, so you can see this has launched our new website here super beautiful website so you can see this is cool uh, but one thing we don't have here is that we don't have our blog page here and we don't have our shop page here uh, that's something we should do so let's come back here for us to be able to add our blog and our online shop we can just easily come down here and let's come to pages and navigation and then we can easily come down here to add page and then you can see that we have a blog page here so once i click this i can just literally uh, eat this and then you can see we have a blog here and then i can change the url to blog news whatever you want that's literally up to you you can choose to hide this page if you want to but uh, let's add this so we have a blog page here now let's add another page here and let's uh, call this online store and so for an online store now you want to choose uh what uh people should see and we have a product list here or a single page definitely we want to stick with our product list i can just literally just change this now from product list i can just call this or whatever you want to call this really and then i can hit the save changes button and that's it for our blog and our store so you can see we still have several options here for us to add in a privacy policy a refund policy times and conditions as well to our website that might be something you just want to add to your footer and not to the main header here uh, we can just literally update this page and this is publishing so website changes are made to dapsbrook.com so i can come back to the front end here i can refresh my page and you can see now i have a blog and i also have a store and this is how you can literally keep adding so you can see this is what my blog look like this is the two uh demo content that was uploaded so far so good that's exactly how to use this tool i believe this tool is pretty much cool uh, it has its own limitations uh, at least i believe that with wordpress we have more options but this is beautiful this is cool their templates are beautiful there are things you can easily walk around and design yourself an amazing website what i like about this platform is just because everything is pulled together i don't need to start working with plugins and themes to get the best out of my website you can literally come to settings and play around with your media library your seo and literally still export this website to wordpress so you can literally hit the export button and then you can follow procedure so you can see this file here has been downloaded and we can import this to wordpress if you want to know how this is done if you eat this transfer your website to wordpress link here you'll be able to get additional information on how you can import this zip file into your wordpress and have this website live on your wordpress website i don't want to drag this tutorial here but if you want to see specific things about this uh ai you can let me know in the comment section that will literally help me focus uh it's it's very difficult for me to do so many things here because i can't touch core things and specific things if i want to do that this video might just be maybe a four or five hour video and that might be stretching for me i am literally exhausted right now so i would need you to give me feedbacks in the comments for me to know exactly what you want me to do do you want me to create specific uh, uh type of website with this ai tool maybe a fully functional e-commerce website or you want me to design a specific aspect of uh maybe of the store maybe work on taxis or you want me to work more on seo or analytics or show you specific things that you are struggling with do let me know in the comment section that will help me improve this tutorial i would help me know that you are excited about this tool and you want to test it out that will give me direction into what content to create 
if you find this video worth your time and you find this interesting give me a thumbs up if you want to test out with this platform and you find it interesting let me know in the comment do not forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any updates from me subsequently about this tool and also wordpress and i will see you in another video and until then have a nice time